Oh, this will be fun. Bullshit. <laughs> Why would they attack my city? <laughs> what is the logic here? Yeah, it was cheeky let's, though. Let's bypass the Sikh's armies and attack the city and take it. Oh wait, if I take it, guess what's gonna happen? Six armies are gonna descend upon your face. Well, you could send five armies and have one army take your city. I mean, it's I'm the city is undefended. One of the armies. They just done you a massive favor. And then all the rest are turn around. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm just gonna take the city, and then the rest of the armies that didn't take that isn't occupying the city are just gonna turn around and go back and take this <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, it's it's just I just uh, the face palms. The face palms are massive. I guess he's just trying to. Piss me off! I don't even know. I mean, he's not even—he's not even doing damage to an army of mine. This is a garrison. <laughs> <laughs> this does nothing. <laughs> Pretty massive, bloody garrison as well. I told you, my garrisons are no fucking joke. Garrisons fuck you up. <laughs> my garrisons do. My garrisons say, "Hi, how you doing?" Fuck you. <laughs> um, it looks like the, one of the main forces is coming in from the south. They didn't have any ships, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah, no, I won't. Some massive fucking garrison. <laughs> Army on its own. Macedonia. The entire city is garrison. <laughs> Why do we much. have a Russian accent? I don't know. <laughs> Macedonian Russian? <laughs> Sometimes we feel like Russian military. <laughs> Very strong vodka out of Macedonia. I mean, it would make sense for me to have Russians, because I'm enslaving people. I'm just killing them. <laughs> I think it makes sense both ways. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about uh, slave revolts and stuff like that, but right now I've got, like, bugger all slaves, so it's not a problem. It's when you start getting thousands and thousands of slaves that it becomes an issue. But slaves, they do generate profit, so that's a plus, especially for the Roman Empire. Huge profit. to find a good group. I don't think I'm ever going to get over these markers you can do on the map. Attacking... general stuff. Defensive. It's just awesome. Yeah, it's rather helpful. Crisp and clear as well. Yeah, it is. You did understand. I don't know what the hell is going on. So, those rock formations, are they just mainly good against cavalry? I know they kill cavalry. Oh, we lost our generals oh, a few battles ago. The, the sharp stone beds? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? No, the sharp stone beds don't kill anybody. They just uh, slow people down, that's all. And what killed the generals? The, the, uh, the spike traps. Oh, were they unactivated traps? 
Yeah. Ew. They're very precise and annoying. The size of the trap, I think they kill three or four of them. Oh yeah, it kills multiple. I always just see one body. One body in a trap and the rest just walk over it. Oh, it doesn't kill multiple. Like, it, it kills them all at once. That's it. Uh, However many are near it, or within its range, or whatever. Valerian Noble Uplights. That look pretty badass. I mean, not as badass as Praetorian Guard, but pretty badass. <laughs> By the time I actually get in a war, like a proper war, I'll already have full Praetorian Guards at this rate. At least full Praetorian. Let balls again. So I need slow. The brimstone pits are literally pointless right now because it's raining. Um. But I put them down anyway. <laughs> Look to the north for a second. Right here. Could you put the fla would it be it's the south. The flaming time. balls. <laughs> oh yeah, south, sorry. The flaming balls on top of that hill. Would that work? Like they're literally not they're, not, they're not really gonna go that way though. Yeah. Because the then they should go straight down there. Because yeah, if, I mean, if they come from there. Work. It'd work, but they're not going to go that way. Because they're going to go for the point, cap the point, sit there. Oh, I suppose if they were all the way over there, that wouldn't really reach. Nah. Oh. Uh. They're going to go for the point and... Say hi to all that. Oh, pikeman. Do the Roman have pike? I don't know if they do. They have spears, yeah. I don't know if they have spears, but do they have pikemen? I will sacrifice Pikemen? to Zeus uh, and Ares for their favor and help Pikemen in our defense. But we mortals I love the Macedonian pikemen. Well. If I could just recruit like honor. Macedonian pikemen, I would. It'd be awesome. Ah, the lovely pikemen. Lovely pikemen are okay. Not that great. Okay. They're good at way um, like keeping the enemy at distance. I mean, the Levy Pikemen are no pushovers, but they're uh, definitely not content. They're not the best. Kill them. Well, hello. Oh, you you not my A. Oh. That's gonna be interesting. One general from one end, the entire army from the other. <laughs> GG. Good, good little trick. Changes things a bit. Wait, you've got your army sitting on top of the oil wells. I can't light the oil wells, it's raining. Uh. 
I just placed them just because they look cool. <laughs> just because they were there to place. I mean, I can have my guys run up and catch them on fire, I think. Yeah, I can have guys run up and fucking catch them on fire. But yeah, it's literally just the general like there from the cells. I literally gotta restructure my whole fucking layout here. Jesus Christ. Because their entire army's coming from one end. Why are you taking them all away from the point? I'm not I'm restructuring my layout. Ah, uh, getting them out of the way. Coming in fast. I want to get something down the coast. Yeah, I know. This regard looks like they're not going the coast, they're just going just above that. Yeah, it looks like most of them are just funneling through the here and the fires. Raining hell on them. Run into a wall of pikemen. Enemy generals already dead. Man, they're getting demolished down, down by the coast.
And they're just piling more and more shit on the back of those units, eh? Very much. I think they might be sending something down right by the coast. It just disappeared behind the buildings. It's possible. Yeah, it looks like they're starting to send stuff down there. Yeah, there are four headed down there now. Yeah, they're coming through. You're breaking the wall. Oh, and he just got through, so they're probably out there right now. It's okay, I gotta find the next right there. Mercenary Raiders, Lyrian Spears. Sending more around. Two more sections. Man, they're killing a lot of shit. Another spear warband hit it down the um spear. I guess you'd say. Gotcha.
And the puck going to hold on the coast. Um, those pikemen down by the coast are exhausted, by the way. I don't care. Yeah, all the pikemen are exhausted. Because you can't really swap them out. They'll get a break once they finish killing them all. Uh, with the no morale mod, since uh, they don't have any morale being exhausted, it doesn't really affect them too much. The only thing that it really affects is their actual fighting abilities, like they won't be as good at fighting, but they'll still be, you know, okay. They're just not as optimal as they should be. Aye. Only one more alive at the coast. He's dead. Coast is clear. I don't see any more sections in reserve over here. They've all pushed up. So every, everything they've got is to the east or engaged. They don't have anything special in reserve, just some infantry on mounted cavalry. Deal with the other shit. Phalanx can hold the rest over there. You be alright. Yeah, they're holding beautifully. an attack that is what you would call a strategic failure It was just a failure overall, I don't really know what they were trying to accomplish exactly. I mean, <laughs> really, I mean, they were doomed either way. Your garrison <laughs> army's kicking a trained army's ass. That must be embarrassing. Right? <laughs> if I attacked a garrison army and no, lost... No, in celebration, I'm gonna light these balls on fire. Just because. <laughs> we haven't won yet. Yay! Celebration! <laughs> Celebratory ball, ball burning. It's <laughs> right. a thing. <laughs> oh, it's always gonna go up. It's gonna go up. Throwing spears, and I guess they're just like fuck your spears. <laughs> Crash. We only got a spear and footman over there. 
Let's hit a cave. I'm just watching the number of their guys just go down as many as charge in time. <laughs> You guys, the enemy general. You're letting the archers take the front line. No, I don't. I don't make this interesting. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Fair enough. Eichmann is still holding ground. I mean, those companion cavalry you put in front of the pikemen are definitely making a difference, eh? Hey? They're oh, keeping yeah. a perfect range, so the pikemen can still do damage to the enemy. And it, the it's typical, it's cavalry have protection. Because, I mean, like, in this time of war, I mean, what they would do is they'd have the hope lines, but they'd also have uh, some skirmishers, or like, uh, just some swordsmen hiding amongst them that would keep in front of the pikes, clearing the inventory that got too close hmm. while the pikes did their shit. They do a brilliant example of it in the uh, Alexander during, uh, I think it's the very first big ass battle scene. It's fucking lovely. Well, I don't think they thought it would go like this when they decided to attack. But hey, it's an undefended Probably city, let's not. take it. Um, no, it was defended. You have nine disciplined spearmen behind your lines. Ooh. Okay. What you know what I think of that here in a second? <laughs> See how close they can get. Nope. <laughs> Denied. <laughs>
that, so I think they're just good swordsmen. <laughs> Almost made it. It was at this moment, the attacking forces <laughs> realized they fucked up. Right? <laughs> they probably realized it a bit earlier. <laughs> getting absolutely fucking demolished. Well, there's three units of pikemen in that one um, companion cavalry held that entire area by, pretty much by themselves. Oh, yeah. I mean, my general was over there too, but it died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't really care. Just a person. Wait, the general died? Fine. Yeah, it died a little while back. <laughs> oh. It was on the front with that companion cab in front of the pikes. That's Ooh. good. I know I got a notification saying the enemy was dead. I'm guessing uh, I got another one. Died at the same time. <laughs> I guess I got another one and I just thought it said enemy and I just like fuck it. It's like no one left at your pike when I like, no enemies, they all just like 50 left down there. I guess they tried. <laughs> Best thing is, they can't run away. They're all gonna <laughs> die. They're all gonna die. What I find interesting is even though we're killing them all, we can still manage to scramble up some slaves. Right? Like, do we just find wounded or something? It's, it, it's, it's the siege camp, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wounded. Yeah. We'll go with that. That's more sense. Going, dude. One guy is running away from my guys to the north of the city. Oh, there he goes. Nice going to fight. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And there he goes. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna get away, am I? Oh, fuck it. I wouldn't be surprised if he just threw down his weapons and just sat down. 
It's just like, this fuck board. this. Look at the poor guy. He knows he's gonna die. Hit down, just... He, he knows it. But he's gonna fight to the death. Have. They had three armies and they had three generals. They attacked with three armies. Yep. Well, they really failed. Damn. Holy shit, that's bigger fail than I thought it was. Three trained oh, armies. Trying to make it out of the city. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh boy, train face. I thought it was just one army. I didn't I think it was. Three. It was two two armies that had troops, and then one that was just a general. Ah. Uh. So two armies. Oh, that that explains that singular general coming in from the uh, mm -hmm. south. Oh, you just missed that shit, didn't you? Yes. Basically, lots of javelins to the guy's face. <laughs> Dude. Let's just line up all my shit as we can make here. All that did. This is an example of what happens when an underpowered, overpopulated army goes up against a garrison. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a, a garrison. Absolutely mm. obliterated. Fucking destroyed. I'm not even gonna send my normal ship. They've got eight left. I was one of those last two alive running south. All those guys in formation. <laughs> I, like, I would probably try and surrender. But then again, I know you just kill everyone, so. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Oh, he, he killed one of the guys you sent after him. You've lost two guys going up those two guys. Three. Oh, four. They're killing all of those guys. Just instantly. Oh, it's right, because they're archers. <laughs> yeah, they're archers. <laughs> they're just running off laugh. Oh, dear. Yeah, they look exhausted, up. though. They look absolutely dead. My question is, where the fuck are they going? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking out of here. The other guys tried to sneak past and go towards the center, but I don't know where the rest of these guys are going. <laughs> Jesus. Where are they going? Why are they trying to hit east? Ah, fuck it. Sending everything I got towards them, I guess. No, they're coming back down. Oh god, <laughs> man. That must be horrible. Hundreds of units all headed towards you. Fuck that. And everyone else is dead. There we go, the last stand. Everyone they knew is dead. 
<laughs> They're running away again. <laughs> <and keep. laughs> Come on, just fight. There we go. Not even. The damage. Ah, Four thousand one hundred kills. <laughs> One of my pikes got five hundred and thirty-three. So you, you you've got four hundred and twenty dudes left. Yeah, man. They got none. <laughs> Time to repopulate the city. <laughs>